listening for and discovering the voice of love, how God uniquely communicates with you. The following is initially some background and then a guided meditation for you to discover God's voice of love as it speaks uniquely to you, in you. By way of background, as we awaken to the realization, the truth that God has a voice and we each can hear it in our own unique way, the question becomes, how do we tune our hearts to hear God's voice of love within us? Mother Teresa says that to hear God's voice, we must enter into the stillness because God's voice is often heard in the silence of our hearts. So in the stillness of our hearts, many times we can enter into conversation with God like we do with an, an intimate friend. Some people describe God's voice as a gentle whisper, like the wind blowing through a flute. Others hear it in their own voice, but it's a deeper voice, deep within either their stomach, their gut, or within their heart space. It rises up from within them. Others just experience it as a gentle word or phrase or image that rises up. Over time, just like we learn as an infant to, to recognize and hear our mother's or father's voice, as we spend time tuning our hearts to hear God's voice, that voice becomes familiar, comforting. It becomes a guiding force in our lives. So let's take a moment and enter into a guided meditation so that you can experience listening for and discovering God's voice of love within you. I invite you to close your eyes if you would. Maybe place your feet flat on the ground and just observe your body wherever you're sitting or, or standing or, or lying. Just become aware of your body. Recognize that like butterflies flying around, our, our thoughts many times will come and go. And that's okay. That's normal. Just pay them no attention. Let them come and go like butterflies in the wind. And then because our mind can only focus on one thought at a time, I invite you to draw your, your focus, your attention to your breath. Your breath is the spirit of God, the pneuma. God's spirit flowing within you. So draw your attention to your breath. I invite you to take a deep breath in and then out. Breathe in and then out. As you draw your attention to your breath, allow your mind to sink into your heart and draw your attention to your heart space, the place where your soul resides, the place like an umbilical cord where God and you communicate and dwell as one. Just feel the, the breath flowing through your lungs and around your heart space. And then in your imagination, allow yourself to picture that heart space within you as, as an inner refuge, a sanctuary. Just allow yourself to imagine what is that inner space within your heart? What does it look like? It could be you sitting on a front porch with God in rocking chairs, sipping coffee or tea. You might imagine that inner sanctuary, that refuge where you and God dwell as one is a favorite morning space, sipping coffee with the Creator. It might be a place in nature where you enjoy experiencing God's presence. 
just allow your imagination to picture a place of quiet refuge, a sanctuary where you and God are one here and now. And in that inner refuge, that place where you and God are one here and now, imagine God asks you a simple question. What do you need from me today? What do you need from me, God, today? Notice how you hear that voice if you do. Where does it resonate within you? That voice of love asking you, what do you need from me today? Observe in your body where you experience that question from the divine spirit of God asking you, what do you need from me today? And then in that quiet space with you and God, allow your heart to respond to God, telling God, this is what you need today. Being honest with God. Your response might be, I need some inner peace. I need some patience. I need your justice to right a wrong. I need forgiveness. I need your guidance. Whatever it is you need from God, tell God what you need today, knowing that God's here. God hears your voice. God invites you to ask so that you can receive. And as you sit with God in conversation, God asking you what you need, you telling God what you need, notice if you hear a response from God. Is there a silent whisper, a word, a phrase, something that God responds back to you with? If you hear a response from God, receive it as gift. Know that it is the divine spirit of love communicating with you and lift it up with gratitude knowing that you just heard from the creator of the universe speaking directly to you in the silence of your heart if you hear nothing that's fine too just enjoy the stillness, knowing that you showed up here in your inner refuge, your sanctuary with God. And God in the silence and stillness is with you. Perhaps as you begin this practice of having a conversation with God, you might ask God, let me hear your voice, God. Give me the grace to hear your voice and in the unique way that you speak to me. Know that as we begin to enter out from our meditation, that you can have this conversation with God whenever you want, that you can learn 
to hear God's voice because God promised. In scripture, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The sheep hear my voice and they follow it. That's not just a neat little story or a, a farmyard tale. It's a way of life that God points us to. It's the Holy Spirit within us. And with time and practice and stillness, over a period of time, God's grace will draw you to that space of stillness within where you can hear God's voice. And just like an infant that becomes familiar with their parent's voice of love and guidance and comfort, you too can hear the voice of God. Listen for the voice of love. Listen to God's voice of guidance and clarity. Listen in the stillness. God promised that in conversation with the creator of the universe, you can and will hear the voice of love. Peace and blessings to you. Amen.